and music and dancing and football. The Circle City Classic had it all this year. Our Logan Gay shares why this event is special for those who take part. The Circle City Classic is celebrating another year of tradition and folks at the parade say it gets better every year. The dancers, the fraternities, the sororities, seeing the politicians out, it was fantastic. Fans say the 39th annual Circle City Parade didn't disappoint. Thousands lined the streets to see performers from across the country, including right here at home. The drummers, oh my God, they were fantastic. Kevin Smith has gone to the parade for 20 years. He says it's a good example for the kids. I think it's very important. You know, the future is bright and uh, it's as bright as you make it. And just seeing other potential and different avenues to succeed, there's no reason to fail. It's also good for the city. It brings out not just African Americans, it brings out the whole community. And this year, football is back. The Circle City Classic resumed its annual HBCU football game tradition after only having a battle of the bands last year. I think it's great. It gives a chance to see new talent and upcoming stars. So I think it's good. It's good for young people to see that uh, they can be whatever they want. But some fans say the Classic is about more than a football game. It shows the culture of HBCUs. It's a place of unity and community for people of color, black people specifically. You know, it exposes young people to like the college atmosphere and the college culture, the fun part. And I think that fun part grips people in so they can get into like the academics. All in hopes of continuing the rich traditions that help make these moments special. In Indianapolis, Logan Gay, 13 News. And our 13 News team had a great time walking in the parade and giving out candy, including myself and our very own Felicia Lawrence also hosted the parade this year. So great day, great day for a lot of fun. And of course, we can't forget about the game itself. North Carolina Central taking on Mississippi Valley State. Both teams fought hard, but North Carolina dominated. In the end, they won the game 42 to 3.